Hello, welcome to another episode of Story Not Story. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be an especially good one. Normally, this is a podcast with myself, China, and my husband, Craig. And we tell you some sweet, sweet bedtime stories. Totally sweet. But Hers tend to be better than mine, I think. No, yours are really good. Oh, stop it. Not quite as good as mine, but yours oh, are really good. Oh, okay, sure. Mm-hmm. But this week, we've got our first special guest. Some might argue that this is the specialist Specialist. Specialist um, guest, yeah. I knew you were going to say have. specialist. Yeah. Yeah. Who's our guest, Craig? Yeah. Uh, well, our guest. I'm not. I'm going to ask him to say hi, but you got to make sure to lean into the microphone. Okay. So okay. They, so they can hear you. Yeah. Hi. Guess who I am? <laughs> <laughs> did Did you guess? Did you guess? We don't know if you guessed because this is a podcast. It probably already said in the title and the description who it is. Yeah, you probably already know. You're like, okay, let's get the fanfare over with. This actually, I don't surprise. know. I don't know if it'll be in the title. Well, we'll, see. we'll um, see. It's my dad. It's my dad. It's Craig's dad. His name is Butch. Yep. Butch Benzine. Hi. And Hi. he's going to tell you a story. Yeah. And we're also going to tell you stories. We're all going to tell you stories. And here's the thing, guys. We're going to try to keep them shorter this time. Usually it's just me and Craig. Sometimes we can get into the 15 to 20 minute range. Yeah. We're going to try not to do that. Because it's three stories. Because this is going to be three stories. You get an extra story this week. Yeah. Holy cats. Holy butts. That's inappropriate. Holy butts. We're already getting off on a really bad start here. We are in the gutter now. Oh, no. Mentioning butts. Let's just turn it off. Acknowledging the existence of butts. We're going to cancel the whole podcast. Mm -hmm. I've ruined it. I'm so sorry. So how are we going to time our stories? How are we timing them? Yes. Well, we have a timer going where it's recording our... Yeah, Our, you can kind of see. Okay, so I don't want to talk any more than... We're just going to cut you off in the middle of a sentence if you go too long. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. The mm-hmm. end. All right, yeah. sounds mm-hmm. good. Okay, who's going to go first? Who's going to go first? I think you volunteered yesterday. I Did think, I? I think you said you would go mm, first. Yes, I will go first. Okay. We have we have suggestions from... from Each story is a suggestion from somebody. The, uh, the, the first one is from... Well, actually, you have to tell. Ask me. I have me. to tell you. No, I don't even know what it is. You I don't, don't even, even know. know. This is the mm-hmm. first time we're ever hearing any of these suggestions. Oh my goodness! Oh wow! This is brand new information. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Craig's suggestion today comes from a Patreon patron named Joshua Bailey, mm-hmm. who says, "I love these podcasts. Obviously, <laughs> yeah. it's just like it's like five pages of just." praise yeah. for our wonderful yeah. podcast. Laying so it just, on thick, Joshua. I know. I'll just skip over all that. You guys can fill in the blanks. Anyway, yeah. Craig, could you tell me the story of how you found slash created slash stole your cloning machine? <gasps> My, I, reveal the secret? Well, you could fictionalize it if you wanted to. You don't have to tell them how it really happened. You mm-hmm. could tell a fictionalized version. You know what? I will fictionalize it. I can't tell the real story. It's yeah, it's, it's just too dangerous. That mm-hmm. information in the wrong hands. Could, yes. But oof. Joshua is a patron for our Story Not Story Patreon, which is story is patreon.com slash story not story. Butch, how do you feel about patrons to our Patreon page? Patrons, I think they're great. I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See they give a little input and don't, to keep you guys going. Don't yeah. you want to be a great person? listener to this podcast we mm-hmm. know how you can do it according to butch you just mm-hmm. become a patron of our Patreon. you know what you could still be a great person even if you're not a patron well yeah but you you will miss the bonus points that would make you like a super okay great okay person. let's not pit patron patrons against average folk okay was i patronizing them you were patronizing oh okay but but anyway we appreciate your contribution joshua we really do thank and, you uh so I'm going to tell you a story. All right. Okay, this is not a real story because if I told you the real story, the government would probably come after me and steal my cloning technology. It would just be a whole thing, uh, you know. It would be very good. Yeah. Um, but I just so happened to actually be writing a story, uh, a a word word story. A word story. That I've been writing very slowly. With the written word? Yeah, oh, very slowly over uh, over several, several times. Uh-huh. And uh, it's... It, it is about this. It is well. It's partially about this. It's the origin of Wheezy Waiter. I am for real in the middle, in the very beginning of writing a story. For real. For real. And so I'm going to take from that a little bit here. 
I don't know. It I'm all... clearing my throat. I'm not telling this story. <clears throat> well, you're probably going to say some. You're going to have words. Yeah. Yeah. Butch and I are going to be very critical. Yes, you of are. Your story. <laughs> yes, you are. Um, all right. So it all began in the year 2057. That's in the future. Yeah. Well. The origin began. Yeah. In the future. Yep. Yeah, that's right. I uh, I was working in a factory. I was um, I was in my twenties. And I was working in a factory uh, in a dystopian society. Society was, is not good in the future, you guys. Or at least, it wasn't good in the future. Yep. I am so confused right now. Yeah. Well, well I, see, I was working in a factory. Um, they pumped out uh, merch for famed internet celebrities as the factory I, I worked in. And, that's fa- and that was, in fact, where most people worked. That was most people's jobs, was in a factory. Everything else is just, like, automated? Pretty much. I mean, yeah. What what little work needed to be done by humans in the factory was done by humans. And it tended to be... Uh, because because uh, the merch had to be authentic, and, you know, they wanted higher quality merch, uh-huh. you had to add that human element to it. Sure. You know, rather than robot making it by robots. <clears throat> okay. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. So we're in the future. Yes. You're younger than you are now. Yes. I I feel like there's going to be an element of time travel. Wow. In this Who's story. right? Who's telling this story? I'm Who's... just speculating. I'm just speculating. Mm. You know what speculating does? It makes a speck out of you and, and Layton. Layton. <laughs> yeah. Who's Layton? I uh, some guy who is a speck. Okay. Um. <laughs> you know, you didn't take like one piece at a time, did you? Oh, in the factory? Yeah. Uh, n- well, who's telling this story? Because <laughs> there was a song like that. I know, there's a Johnny Cash song. Yes. He he worked in a factory and he took one piece at a time I and he built, built... Yeah. A car, yeah. Are you, are you writing my story for me? No, go ahead. No, <laughs> that's a good idea, but I don't know if that's what, what happened. No, in this uh, factory, you take two pieces okay. at a time. Yeah, no. So this is oh, a factory okay. <laughs> where where everyone's it's work it's miserable. Everyone is just they go to the factory, they go they go out drinking, they go back to the factory. Sometimes they just get in bar fights and get arrested. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty it's and the the company I worked for was RevCorp, and um, so one day I got fed up with working in this factory. Sure. Um, I mean I was fed up every day, but I got so fed up that. I uh, decided to see what was going on behind the scenes. Whoa! No one, everyone who works in the factory—that's all they ever did, and no one, no one knows who their boss is. Uh huh. Uh, upper management, if you will. Uh huh. So I had to find out. I had. I wanted to find out. I want. I was. I was getting sick of this. How did you get crap. paid? Uh. How did I get paid? Yeah. I well, we we it wasn't really paid. It was just sort of room and board and food. Oh, so sounds like a pretty crappy job. Didn't even yeah. Have, yeah, didn't even have a check to see what name was on mm-hmm. there. Uh, no, no, I don't even know what my name was actually. Oh, oh, not your name. <laughs> the name. Oh, of oh the, the name of the people. Yeah. yeah, but I didn't even know what my name was. Oh. But I didn't know what the name of of the the CEO was. Whatever. I just knew RevCorp because I saw that that everywhere. Right. Um, the outside when you go outside of a factory, it looks like the movie Blade Runner. If you see the movie Blade Runner, it's just it's dark, film noirish uh-huh. everywhere you go, and fi- like flames coming out of factories. Yeah, lots yeah. of shadows. Lots of shadows and and intrigue. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. So anyway, I decided I'm gonna see what's going on upstairs, and uh, there was a door to go to go upstairs. Uh huh. And I couldn't open it it was locked it makes sense that it would be Mm, locked yeah yeah and then i thought huh that makes sense i probably should have expected that the door would be locked yeah uh so i decided to wait until someone came out of the door ah Mm -hmm. i waited around for like an hour and then my coworkers got really mad that i was falling behind yeah yeah Uh, so i had to go back no one came out that door and then i watched the door no one came out the door all day what yeah and, and then I watched the next day. No one came out the next day. No one came out the next day. No one came out that door. Did anybody go in? Uh, no. Nobody went in either. Is this the only door to upstairs? Um, 
Were you accidentally watching like just a supply closet? Well, turns out I, it was just the door to the dumpsters outside, and it wasn't garbage day. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you were watching the wrong door. Oh. So geez. I went. So I went around the building to to the dumpsters one day. Uh huh. Um, well, one night because I, I I decided not to do it while I was on my shift. That was and, responsible. That was good. And I climbed up the dumpsters and I grabbed a pole, and I shimmied up the pole. Mm-hmm. Uh. I was I worked out a little bit, so I was I was able to do that, mm-hmm. and um, and I got up to the second floor. Wow! The the building I think was probably like two hundred stories, but I got up to the second one. It's a big accomplishment. Yeah, I got up to the second floor, and I uh, the window was it was a hot day or a hot night, so the window was slightly cracked. So I managed to open it, and I went in. And it was it was just your standard office. Mm-hmm. It was a boring little office, and I I inched my way through it, looking around, avoiding cameras, and and um, little robot maids like Roombas that were everywhere. Uh huh. Um. And then I saw a human security guard. Whoa. Yeah. Human. Yep. But. He he was standing by the the stairwell, uh-huh. and I had to I had to get past him because I wanted to go up further. He hasn't seen you yet. Nope, he hadn't seen me yet. Whoa. So what I did, I uh, I just I took a I took a shot in the dark, and I um I grabbed someone's jacket was on a chair in the office, mm-hmm. and I grabbed it and I put it on and I zipped it up. So I covered up my, my uniform, my mm-hmm. factory worker uniform. So I looked like maybe I worked in this this level. Mm-hmm. And I walked around the corner, and the security guard was like, "What? What are you doing here? It's, it's too. It's after hours." And I'm like, "I'm just such a good worker, and I really love my job." Uh huh. And he's like, "I've never seen you work after hours before. Well, usually I just go to sleep here, I, but I needed to go out to get a um, um, Astro Burger." Sure. That's a future burger that people really like. Sounds delicious. Yeah. And uh, so I can, I, he, he was like, well, I only kind of believe you. And, um, but that's enough for me. And so he's like, you get out of here. And like, and I was like, can I take the stairs? And he's like, well, take the elevator like everybody else. I'm like, no, I'm working on my, my cardio. I, uh, I need to work off the calories if I'm going to go have an Astro Burger. As you know, those are pretty pretty hefty. And he's like, well, I again, I don't get all this fitness crap, but and I only kind of, and I'm still very suspicious of you, but go ahead. And so... This guy's very bad at his job. Well, yeah, I, I was lucky. And yep. I, I went and I went to the door, and I pulled it open real hard, and I hit him. Whoa. I hit him. With and then, the door? With, with the door. Whoa. And... Um, he, uh, it bumped his head, but it didn't really do much damage. So I ran, and then he ran after me. Yeah. Um, should have hit him harder. I should have hit him harder, uh, but I'm not that strong. Okay. I worked out, but I'm not that strong. And then uh, um, I ran up the stairs, mm-hmm. ran up five flights, mm-hmm. and he ran behind me. Mm-hmm. Um, I slipped once, almost fell, <gasps> but I didn't. Yeah, so that was, that was intense. Whew, were you scared there for a second? Yes, I thought you might have got caught. <laughs> yeah, no, no. And then I, I went into a room, and the security guard came in, and and uh, well, I ran, I ran like far into the room. There were people in the room. I didn't, I, and so I was like, where, where the heck am I? I'm gonna get caught. And I ran into the room, and I stopped. And the security guard came in, and he looked around very confused. And I'm like, what? What am I hiding? How is this? How is this possible? Mm-hmm. And uh, then I realized everyone around me looked exactly like me. What? No. Yeah. What? Yeah. I, how? Why? What? Well, when? Apparent, Where? Uh, Who? Apparently, they were clones. Of you? Of me. Of only you? Of only me. That's very strange. And yeah. the cop wasn't cloned either. Uh, the, the security guard? Yeah. No, but then I looked closer at the security guard, and I realized he also looked like me, but with a mustache. You have what? a mustache. No, I have a beard. You you mean only a mustache? Only a mustache. Because you yeah. have the mustache part. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. You just have other stuff. But he had only a mustache. Whoa. Yeah. 
wonder what you would look like with only a mustache. Yeah. So mm. when you were working, did you ever see any other co-workers? Well, here's the thing. We always wore, we always, I probably should have left, I probably should have mentioned this detail earlier, but we always wore uh, masks, helmets, like gas masks. Oh, I see where this is going. Mine, I took mine off when I was climbing the, the dumpster. Sure. But the, 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 the wall. But, um, and then I started to realize, what if they're all, they all look like me? What if? Yeah. So I'm like, well, shoot, I should... Get to the bottom or the top of this, if you will. Sure. Go and go up the building. Uh huh. So, wow, well, this story's getting long, isn't it? It is getting. <laughs> it's getting a little long. So, so what happens next? Well, so uh, to make a long story short, I um I managed to um I, I kept inching my way around as the security guard was walking through, trying to find me through all the Craigs. Uh huh. And um. I thought you didn't know what your name was. I didn't, and I. But uh, I'm for I'm now I do, so I'm referring. Oh, okay. to, yeah, yeah. It's just a little hard to follow. <laughs> one thing. I know. So I. It's a I, good story, though. Thank you, thank you. You guys are you seem enthralled with it. I am. Yeah. yeah so uh, I, I managed to get behind him, and I conked him on the head with another Craig. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I like I I, I head butted him. Yeah. And knocked him out, b- both of them out, and the other Craigs were like, "What are you doing, dude?" And then there was a little scuffle, and I managed to get the security guard's coat on, and and then they're like, "Well, I don't even, I don't even know even," and then they just went back about their business, whatever it was. That's cool. Yeah, and I ran to the stairwell, and I wa- and I and I just took the stairs all the way up to the top. Uh huh. And I went to two hundred flights of yes, stairs. Yes, I was very tired. You just walked up two hundred flights of stairs. Well, yeah. What else was I going to do? How long did it take you to get up the stairs? Like twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. To walk up 200 yeah. flights of stairs. Probably. Maybe 40 minutes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so I get up there, and uh, I, oh, I, I, I have a key card, and I try it on the door. It works. <gasps> Phew. Phew. So I go inside, but then there's another level of security, and I try the key card. It doesn't work. And then a guy on a loudspeaker is like, um, hey, incorrect code, type in the number, the four numbers, or we will kill you. Oh, man. Yeah. So, I, uh, I, I, uh-huh. I just guessed. I guessed four numbers. They were wrong. Oh. And then a, a giant... Um, machine gun came out of the wall and it was about to shoot and then it it just uh, a flag that said bang came out and said just kidding we're not going to kill you we're not monsters hey come come on in we'll get you a new key card and uh and it was so, a prank you got pranked i got pranked so i went in and they they're like all right state your state your name and i i didn't know my name or the security guard's name so i said the first name that came to mind Gary, uh-huh. and and they were like, oh, okay, Gary. Um, it says here that uh, you died two days ago, and, and then I just ran. I just ran. I just ran past them. At that point, uh, that's yeah, probably the best thing yeah. that you could do. And I got all the way to a back room, and it was another guy who looked like me, but he was wearing a black button-up shirt, mm-hmm. and uh, he had a sneer. He he seemed very vengeful. Oh no! And um. And I, and I ran over to him, and he had this machine next to him, that uh, it was labeled cloning machine. And then he had another machine on the other side of him that was labeled time machine. I wonder what those machines do. Uh, That's a good question. Yeah, I have no yeah, idea. Yeah. And so I punched him in the face. Uh huh. And he said, "I knew, I knew, I would meet you one day. I am revenge. I am a revenge clone. You cloned me well years and years ago, and I." Stole your time machine and clone machine, and I went to the future and have enslaved humanity. Whoa. Yeah. And uh, so I'm like, oh, that sucks. And then I, I grabbed the clone machine and jumped in the time machine to to the early 2000s, or the late 2000s, around 2007. Okay. And I, um, I knew my history. I knew that uh, the internet was going to be a big deal around that time, like YouTube video. 
so that's how you got in so i started you YouTube YouTube, so started youtube videos ah. and uh and uh that's how it all began i don't know where the cloning machine came from originally my question is mm-hmm. revenge clone told you that you made him years and years ago. <laughs> right. And then you took the cloning machine. Couldn't you have just gone back and then just not? Not just what? Like not made him? Well, well, I did. I just went back and became a YouTuber. But you could have just not made the revenge clone when you went back. But I don't know. And then I don't know when that was. That would have created some sort of. Yeah. Whatever. Chaos. I don't, yeah, yeah. Or paradox. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, so I'm just using it to my advantage. Yeah. And you know, become a successful YouTuber. So we've got a lot to look out for in 2057. E- well, it's going to be different now because I, I've i changed the timeline. That's true because you were in your 20s then. Mm-hmm. And you're going to yeah. be if we just continue. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't so. understand. But that was a great story. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, great story. Hey, do you want to tell a story, Dad? Sure, I could tell a story. Yeah, you're going to have to get a little closer to the mic, though. It might not be a a long story. Let me tell you what you are going to tell your story about, because you don't know. Pretend you don't know. Actually, Craig, you can tell him. Okay. Well, the story came from our email, storynetstorypodcast at gmail, and uh, it's from a girl named Reem, um, who uh, she's actually from Syria. Uh, But she wants to tell wants a story about a girl who is addicted to pizza. Do we know this girl's name? The girl? You who, do. The girl who's addicted to pizza? You're yeah, going to make yeah. it up. No, no. Oh, no, we don't. It's no. all up to you. It's you have to tell to us you. a story. All up to me. Where does it begin? How does it begin? Well, it begins well from the beginning how any <laughs> any little girl is comes around, you know. <laughs> uh-huh. it, it starts in her her mother's tummy, you know. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's so, way at the beginning. We're That's way at the beginning. Way yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. And uh, they are trying to think of a name for this girl who was addicted to pizza. Yeah, right yeah. from but birth, she's addicted to pizza. Right from birth, she is. How do they know that? Because her mom loves pizza. Yeah. Oh. And when she was there, you know, in the womb, she would be eating pizza, and and the little girl, yeah. you know, got really excited about that. Yeah. Okay, so they could tell yeah. from the movement. Yeah, from yeah. the movement. Okay. But and, you but, shouldn't feed a baby pizza, though. Well, well The pizza know. was very good. Don't okay. judge other people's okay. parenting. Yeah. Right? yeah. All right. Yeah. Sorry. It's not your place. <laughs> it wasn't real spicy or anything. Okay. That's yeah. More of a bland pizza, like mac and cheese or something. Okay. You know? yeah. yeah. All right. Mac well, and cheese we pizza. Know, we know that pizza is a vegetable, right? Didn't right. they determine that like mm, a couple of years ago? I don't think. No. They didn't. Yeah, they did. Okay. They oh, did. Cool. Okay. Okay. So she's so so she's you know her mom's eating pizza and and she really gets excited when yeah. her mom's eating pizza. Yeah. Well, you know this was happening all the time. So that her mom said, "Well, I'll have a steady diet of pizza." Okay. You know, that yeah. would really keep her going, mm-hmm. moving around and stuff, <laughs> kicking and whatever yeah. have you. Doesn't seem very um. Well, healthy, she she healthy, would throw, she would but... throw in maybe a. Uh, uh, Ham sandwich or something, okay, you know, something like that. That's good. Yeah, a nice healthy ham sandwich. That's yeah, good. With, with soft white bread. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. That's uh, it. Still doesn't seem like baby and food to drink me. Drink her milk. Yeah, all right. She drink her milk. Chocolate okay. sometimes. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. But, What's the girl's name? Uh, well, when you know, when she arrived, they called her Patsy. 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 Yeah. Ah. Okay. Old Pizza Patsy. Pat's Pat pe- pe- Pizza Loving Patsy. Pizza yeah. Patsy. Yeah. It, it was you know it was a good name for. For the girl, Absolutely. yeah, the, I don't know what the last name was, but you don't. Patsy, no, no, Patsy. Sure. Was, yeah, she, maybe she didn't have a last name. Yeah, yeah, like could Cher. Be. No name, no last name. Patsy. Yeah, right. Yeah, the pizza addictor. Or yeah, addiction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pizza addiction. Yeah. And anyway, yeah. well, you know, and, and her mom was breastfeeding, and and she was, you know, she kind of tried to stay away from the pizza thing. Yeah, her mom did, and yeah. it wasn't working very good. The baby just didn't care for the milk. Yeah. Uh-huh. So she thought, well, I'll, you know, I, I do still like pizza. I'm going to go try a slice of pizza and stuff. And uh-huh. just like that, the baby started drinking. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because it tasted like pizza. It's pizza milk. Pizza yeah, milk. Pizza, yep. Yeah. And, and mm. it was really good. Yeah. And, you know, she got older. And, and as she was growing up, they would go to, like, you know, pizza places like your pizza pit. 
Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. Pizza Hut, you know, places like that. Mm-hmm. P- pizza House. I made pizza that Pizza House, up. yeah. 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 And she really liked the pizza. It was, it was good. I mean, that was probably she one have, of like, her favorite diets. Did she have a favorite kind of pizza? Um, not until they got to the, uh, I, what do they call it, the uh, Pizza Ranch or something? The Pizza Ranch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that her favorite kind there was uh, like uh, hamburger, pepperoni, and uh, sausage. Ah, meat lovers pizza. So she likes lovers. the meat. Yeah, yeah. she liked yeah. the meat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, they would throw in like a... Like a uh, veggie pizza but that wasn't real mm-hmm. exciting to her but how old yeah. was she at this point she was about five five years old yeah oh i didn't mention though as she was growing up she uh you know being five she came to see these horses too she was very interested in horses okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you know at the pizza ranch she thought well you know maybe there would be because it's a ranch because it's a ranch and ranches yeah. have horses yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 so she grew up, you know, going to the pizza ranch and looking for these horses, what have you. And mm-hmm. she thought, well, you know, why aren't there any horses here or anything? I mean, this is a pizza ranch. The yeah. pizza's good. The pizza's very good. She, yeah. And she still loves her pizza, but she's just looking wait. for those horses. Is the pizza made out of horses? No. Okay. No, that oh, wouldn't happen. Yeah. It's a terrible story. <laughs> yeah, that would be it. And I thought we were telling good stories. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, not yeah. always. Yeah. Not always. Uh, no. Yeah. Well, she grew up, you know, just to make a long story short. Yeah. Um, she grew up and uh, just eating pizza, and, and she thought to herself, you know, if I had a chance to buy a horse, I would start my own pizza ranch. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That would really have horses. An actual ranch. And, yes. And, mm-hmm. and she did, and, you know, she couldn't name it Pizza Ranch, because that was already mm-hmm. taken. Mm-hmm. Trademarks. Mm-hmm. So, did she? What? How did the? Did she talk to the pizza ranch people about this? How they feel about it? Well, like I said, they they really didn't uh, care. You know how they how she started her own. Oh, they didn't care. She's competition. She just can't right. use the name. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. She had to do something different. All right. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, so she she thought. Well, like I said, she got a ranch, mm-hmm. and it was called. Patsy's Ranch. Patsy's Ranch. Patsy's Ranch. Okay. Yeah. And with pizza. Yeah. That was it. That's yeah. that's just yes. Did they what do they serve? Did they just serve pizza? They no, serve? they they have like hamburgers and stuff. And too. then could you like ride the horses? And you could ride horses. Okay. This sounds so, like the best place ever. I want to go. Yeah. At Patsy's Ranch, ranch with, with pizza. pizza. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> and ride a horse. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's it? That's about it. Yeah, that's the story. I mean... That's a very happy story. Yeah. She... The girl knows what she likes. No, no. She lived her dream. But how she does... She had pizza. But how does this work? Pizza. Like, you go in and it's a, just a normal pizza menu? And oh, at, it, her, at her pizza ranch? Yeah. Or her Pat, Patsy's ranch. Yeah, Patsy's ranch. Yeah. Um... Well, you got, uh, I mean, there's different dough that you can use. Mm-hmm. She, she makes different dough, you know. And, uh-huh. and, okay. And, and you say what you want, and you can order the pizza, you know, mm-hmm. by the slice mostly. Most yeah. people order by a slice because it doesn't take so long to that's, make. And that's yeah. right. That's right. And then people are in and out and on their horse, and <laughs> they just get on their horse. They yeah. just get on their horse. Yeah. No, this sounds Is wonderful. it like a track they go on, or like a they go out in the woods with their horse? Well, there is a track, mm-hmm. but it is out into the woods mm-hmm. I mean, right. but there, there's trails I mean it's pretty brushy out there so. does the place smell like horse poop no the horses are quite quite a ways away okay they're, they're, yeah you didn't want to bring that in huh. you know, too no. close to the well, pizza well she just is doing it right isn't she yes she is wow can we go can we go to Patsy's yeah Ranch where's it located pizza? um I I think it's like uh, <laughs> what they say Otsego? <laughs> Otsego. It's in Otsego, Otsego Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're going to have to hit That's it up. It's a very small town in Otsego, Wisconsin. All but right. It's, it's uh, surrounded by uh, like woods and farmland. And mm-hmm. and then the pizza, pizza ranch was All right. in there. Patsy's. It's got to be costly, though. They, do you have to pay a lot to ride the horses? Cause oh, yeah. How much does it cost to go and eat there and ride horses? Well, the, the pizza, you know, is... Depend on the size of the slice. Sure. You could have a slice mm-hmm. like up to uh, say seven dollars. Yeah, oh, like yeah, for a really fancy slice. But then yeah, you got a really nice one. Then you got to maintain the horses. That's got to cost money. So you're gonna have to. That's I, true. I want. How does she stay afloat? That's what I'm wondering. Um, it's not every restaurant just also has horse riding. Sure, you know? sure. 
Well, you you got to pay extra to ride the horses, though, and that helps with right, right. the upkeep. Right, yeah. the, the horses, to, to ride a horse, you know, depending on how long you go. Maybe yeah. like $30 for an hour. Uh, it was like uh, 2750 2750 Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Riding a horse for an hour and a half. Oh, For nice. an hour and a half. Well, it's actually an hour and huh. 27 minutes. But Sure, sure. I think we're going to inspire someone listening now to start this business. Please start this Pizza business. Pizza and horses? Sounds great. I will great. so go yeah. to this place. This sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, it does. But, you know, she couldn't give up her pizza, so she had to have something there. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's oh. awesome. And now she can have pizza every day. Yeah. yeah, from her own restaurant. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, this is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's great. just great. Does she? Ha- does she ever? Is she all alone? Does she start a family. I'm. I want. Um, I'm knowing, I want to know more. Yeah. I want to know more. Well, you know that she really didn't have time at the beginning. Yeah, but th- there was kind of a, a a young gentleman that was coming around oh, every uh-oh. time, and uh oh, you know, One of the regulars. And, yeah, uh-huh. and after hours they'd go for a horseback ride. Oh, and have a pizza picnic. Oh. <laughs> Well, this is just the happiest story ever, isn't this it? This is the yeah. best, most happy, pleasing story that has ever been on this podcast. <laughs> I feel yeah. like ours usually take a, somewhat of a dark turn at some point. Well, yeah. I mean, I like to I like to keep things dark. You know, that's I know. what I do. Yep. Intense. Yeah. So, uh, well, thank you for your story, Dad. Sure. Um, what's the name of that story? Uh, the name of that story would be... Uh, Patsy's, Patsy's Pizza. No, Patsy's Ranch. Patsy's Ranch with, with pizza. pizza. Patsy, Patsy's Ranch with pizza. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. That's a great. My, the name of my story is um, uh, uh, Days of Pasts, Future Past. Days. days of Pasts, Future Past Days. Yeah, Days of Past, Future Past Days. We should write these down. Yeah, we should write these down. <laughs> okay. Okay, so your... My story doesn't have a name yet because I haven't told it, but I'm about to. Right. But you want to tell me what my story is about? It's the bottom one. Ah. And it's China. from... It's from Court, Courtney White. Oh, yeah. Courtney who, White. Who emailed it to us, story, not story, podcast at Gmail. China, your story should tell a story about a T-Rex that goes vegan. 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 <laughs> vegan. This seems so unlikely. They're such carnivores, but I will try my golly gosh darndest to tell this story. Okay, so for this story, we're going to have to obviously go way back in time. Way back. Millions and millions of years ago. Okay, like, or or we could go to 2057. We, we did revive T- T- Rex is just saying. But. We've already been to 2057 today on the yeah, podcast, yeah. so we're going to go way back. Do we have to go way back? Didn't they have them in the zoo or anything? Well, I mean, I did see that movie Jurassic Park, and they had one there, but that one wasn't vegan, so that's not the oh, one that this oh. story is about. He oh. ate a lot of people in that movie, so <laughs> I think I think we're probably not. Hey, sorry to interrupt, yeah. but was my story Days of Past, Future, Past Days? I think that's what it was. That's what okay. it's going to be now. Past days, we'll say. Okay. Something. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry to interrupt. Okay. So, long, long time ago. 60 million years ago, I think, in fact. Wow. Yeah. A, C, B, C? B, B, well. A, B, C. Well, you, well, you're not even giving the year. You're just saying how long ago. But that would definitely be B, C. Like 60 million B, C. Well, it would... AC would be air conditioning, (laughs) actually. (laughs) Uh, It would be... Well, but we're 2,000 years into... Well, we don't have to... Are we going exactly 60 million years ago? Exactly 60 million years ago, to the day. So it it would be 50... Nine. 50... Oh, this is so complicated. 58... 59 (laughs) million... million, Five... Five... Oh, jeez. 999,000... No, nine hundred and ninety-eight thousand BC. BC. <laughs> there yes. it is. And well, it's if we July wanna, 15th. If we want to go, it's 2017, so we'd have we could go. Oh, jeez. In nine hundred and ninety-seven thousand nine hundred and twenty-three. I don't know. We'll get, just go ahead. It's exactly sixty million years ago. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh, good Lord. Someone in the chat's probably going to do the math. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, 
what am I telling a story about? Dinosaur goes vegan. T Rex. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Goes vegan. Okay. I got just all bogged down by the math here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there's this T Rex family mm-hmm. a mom T Rex and a dad T Rex and a baby T Rex who is, for the purposes of this story, a girl named Sue. Okay. Sue? Hey. Hey, that, that's like the, the T Rex or the. Yeah. Is it a T-Rex? Oh, yeah. Yeah, T-Rex at uh, the Field Museum in Chicago. It may be the very same. <gasps> what? Uh, I'm not saying. Okay. Either way. All right. It All right. is. It is. Oh, yeah, okay. I was, I, I was enjoying the suspense, but now there isn't any. But well, that's okay. Well, you had the suspense for a minute, and then you got the relief of knowing. You're right. For sure. So, re- so relieved. So long, long ago, when Sue was just a wee T-Rex mm-hmm. out in the wild, yeah. Um. You know, her mom and dad were raising her, teaching her the, the ways uh, of hunting and and tracking and killing all the other dinosaurs to gobble them up. I know it's pretty aggressive. Isn't there possible evidence that it was a herb that T Rexes were herbivores? I don't know because I don't spend a lot of time reading about dinosaurs. Actually, I don't even know. And, and did it have feathers? No. It didn't have feathers. No. Huh. It's a T-Rex, and the ones that I've seen, pictures, drawings, and stuff, they didn't have feathers, so this one doesn't have feathers. Wow. That's just the way it's going. Here's the proof. They run pretty fast? They can run pretty fast for short bursts. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and some of these other dinosaurs are pretty fast, too, but T-Rex is bigger. It's got longer legs, so. Dinosaur scientists, powerful. I hope you're listening, because we have definitive proof now. Yeah. T-Rex oh. didn't have feathers. Runs fast. Runs fast. Eats other dinosaurs. Carnivorous. Yes. Carnivorous AF, as the kids would say. <laughs> yes. Um, so anyway, so Sue is growing up, and she's learning the ropes, and she's learning how to hunt, and she, you know, catches some of these dinosaur critters, and gobbles them down and everything. But something just, you know, it never feels quite right in her mind to be doing this because when she catches an animal and she's like tearing into it sometimes she'll it'll look look her in the eye and and there's a moment where they've like got this connection you know creature to creature and she gets this feeling of guilt like why am i doing this why am i Mm -hmm. killing you just to gobble you down because i'm hungry why do i kill you just to gobble you down Messing around, and then worst of all, uh huh. Okay, go on. That's great. Yeah, yeah. You chew me up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So anyway, so this goes on for a little bit, and she just kind of goes about her her day. She's got to eat. She doesn't know any other way because that's that's what all her yeah. T Rex family does. What are you gonna eat if you aren't gonna eat dinosaur parts? Right. Yeah. That's why I asked myself every day you ask yourself that's weird yeah that's a weird thing to ask yourself well you know i'm kind of weird so uh so anyway so years pass and she gets to be like a teenage t-rex uh or the equivalent i don't really know how t-rexes age Mm -hmm. but the equivalent of like teenage t-rex she starts getting all rebellious and stuff oh yeah they do getting her own ideas and uh wanting to change the world and everything and uh And so she decides one day, you know what? I think that this is wrong. I know some dinosaurs who know some dinosaurs. And and a lot of these are dinosaurs that we normally would eat. We would gobble them right up. But I've spent some time with these guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're good people. She said people. Yeah. They didn't know that people were actually going to exist. Well, it was just it was just a, people weren't a slang a th- term. Yeah, people were, it was just a general slang at that time yeah. until people actually existed. Right. Yeah. yeah, and then you had to start differentiating, but by then yeah. the dinosaurs were gone, so it didn't matter. Yeah. So what did her uh, parents think of this? Her parents were, they were, they were scared, you know, a little disappointed. It just, it was just fear of the unknown. Yeah, like, what's she going to eat? Worrying about her health yeah. and everything. It was kind of hard when mom would have her over for Sunday dinner because, you know, if you got Brachiosaurus on the menu yeah, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden very she's not going to eat it. It's a very gamey meat. Yeah, and yeah. then now all of a sudden she's decided she's not going to eat it. What's she going to do? Because Mama T-Rex has never 
you know, gathered berries or anything before. She or didn't even know, or, or yeah, yeah, lettuce and greens and stuff. She doesn't mm-hmm. even know how to make stuff like that. Mm-hmm. She's just like, you know what? If you're not going to eat the meal that I prepare, that's fine. But we don't want to hear your mm-hmm. talking about it. And you can just bring whatever you want to eat. You can just bring a dish. And, and they uh, didn't have any like faux dinosaur meat either back then. No, yeah. Like dino, dinosaur. Yeah, like that. Dinosaur. Yeah, that came that came along later. Yeah. Sue actually yeah. invented that because yeah. she, you know, wanted to be able to have communal meals with. Oh, she did invent other that. carnivorous dinosaurs. Okay. Yeah, Great. but later it okay. hasn't happened. Oh, yet. oops. She's at the beginning of her her journey. Yeah. So anyway. Um, yeah, so her parents were like, they were kind of worried, but they, they supported her. They knew that she was a headstrong gal. Mm-hmm. She's an individual, and she's going to do what she wanted. So anyway, so this goes on. Yeah. And uh, and she's actually able to, to eat a pretty healthy diet without eating these other dinosaurs. You know, at first she gets a little, she has some issues nutritionally because she's she's not getting all the protein that she needs yeah how's she gonna do that beans or something also um we are we're also currently broadcasting this live as we record for Mm -hmm. the podcast Mm -hmm. on you now and someone in the comments is wondering how does she even gather stuff well it's i gotta tell you it's a real challenge because her arms are pretty short yeah so and most of the bushes with like the berries and and stuff are are pretty low to the ground t-rexes are notorious for having short arms but you got to remember that now sue sees these other dinosaurs as equivalent beings you Mm -hmm. know so she's friends with a lot of shorter dinosaurs with with less stubby Appendages. Okay. So they help her out, you know. So it's good to have friends they go, that you don't eat, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, like, you don't eat me, I'll pick you some berries. Yeah. Absolutely. That's how you make friends. You don't eat people. That is how I've made literally all of my friends, people just by not eating them. Being the colloquial term, people. Right. Being any any kind of dinosaur or anything. Yeah, just like another yeah. another thing. Yeah. Another living thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Can you demonstrate how, how uh, she would try to gather? Yeah, she. Yeah. This okay. is mostly for the people watching live, but <clears throat> no, no. Well, I will describe it. Okay. You now have your hands out. In yeah. A, and they're limp. You yeah. have limp hands out. Yeah. And, and I'm going to try to gather something out of this basket of potpourri. We have basket of potpourri nearby. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So she's reaching in and very limply, <laughs> grabbing, gather, pushing around potpourri. Oh, and I got one. She put. She's got a leaf between her two hands. But I can't get it to my mouth. Oh no! So you're gonna have to like probably drop it and then eat it. I would assume she dropped it, and now she's bending down to eat it. Don't oh, I, but I'm really tall and cumbersome, and I don't. You're know also pregnant. How I'm gonna do that? So, yeah. And there's a baby in the way, so I can't really <laughs> bend over that much. Oh no! Wait, was Sue pregnant? Well, come to find out. <laughs> She was, in fact. She was pregnant. Yes. And the father was not a T-Rex. Oh. <gasps> what? Yeah. Is that possible? Yeah. I don't know that that's possible. Well, it was in okay. this story. Okay. Possible What was somehow. the father? The father, you know, I don't know a lot of dinosaur names. <laughs> so <laughs> it was another large dinosaur that was an herbivore mm-hmm. who, you know, she just met one day at one of these gatherings. Was it a was it a Brachiosaurus? I think it was. Okay. Re- remember how that her mother, that was her favorite thing when she was a kid. Her mother prepared yeah, that all the yeah, time. Yeah, to eat. Yeah. That's awkward. And now, Ooh, yeah, that's awkward. awkward. But yeah. she, she explained to him about, you know, about her family and everything. Sometimes you got to warn them about yeah. your family before yeah. you introduce like them Like her mom was probably, you know, Oh, I love you so much I could eat you. That's to her, to her husband. You know? Yeah. Oh no. That's exactly oh, what happened. No. Well, let me tell you, when the first time she brought him around for for a Sunday meal, whew, it was quite an ordeal because because they had prepared a Brachiosaurus for themselves mm-hmm. for the Sunday meal, and uh, and then she brought her her boyfriend at the time, whose name was uh, Paul. Ah, Paul. Yeah. Okay. Paul the Brachiosaurus. And um, 
and he got there and and it wasn't like a really close relative but it was mm. like a fourth cousin and yeah. he recognized him and that was pretty awkward let me tell oh, you dear. Yeah. Bet, yeah. Yeah. oh dear did he eat him no no okay. no okay he's an herbivore okay yeah but to fit in i don't know no sue i mean sue they just brought their own meal okay to eat and the family's accepting this though yeah, well, it's pretty hard because every time for a little while they had like a Pavlovian response when they would look at Paul, mm-hmm. they would just start salivating Ooh, a little bit and kind of want to, kind of want to get him. That's Ooh, awkward. Closer to the fire. That is yeah, awkward. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Paul, why don't you sit over here yeah. next to this mm-hmm. roaring fire? This seems very <laughs> difficult. This seems like a, a difficult situation. A lot of people would have said, you know, star-crossed lovers that it was just never going to work mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people would be wrong. <gasps> really? Yep. It worked out. They had their baby. And what was their baby? If it's two different dinosaurs. It was a... A, a T. rocchiosaurus? Yes, it was. That's exactly what it was. Rex? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're really good at pronouncing dinosaur names that uh, yeah. I made up. That <laughs> you made up. <laughs> um, and, you know, they just ended up living happily ever after. And, and people... You know, a lot of the extended family never really came to terms with the fact that that Sue was. It was vegan. too early. This was sixty million years ago. They I know. Were, yeah, they weren't. They weren't very progressive back then. I know. It yeah. needed. They they needed time. Mm-hmm. And you know, by the time they were just about to come to terms with it, that darn yeah. meteor. But yeah, ooh, <laughs> is that how the story ends? <laughs> We needed a little bit of a dark story today. Oh, no. So. You had to mention the meteor. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. It just came. Go. Let's go. Oh, boy. Go. Took, care of, took care of Sue. Pulling my shirt collar. Oh. Yeah. Whew. And then they all died. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well, what a, what a, what a. So, so it was in their story. lifetime that the meteor happened? Yeah, I don't really know the exact science of it all, but I'm pretty sure it was like right in their lifetime. Well, that sucks. Yeah. Wow! Yeah, this you're what a downer. Well, yeah, but but then uh, sixty million years, well, give or take sixty million years later. Yeah, approximately. Sue's body was found, right? Right. And put together and on display at the Field Museum, where it will live until the next meteor. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> and also, the government found the the fossilized body of Sue and Paul's. Um, weird hybrid child yeah and uh they haven't publicized it yet because they need to study it Mm. okay because they didn't think it was possible okay but it is but you know honestly i don't know if they would have lived much longer anyway because they needed protein well yeah i mean she was a a carnivorous dinosaur so yeah yeah but she she was getting protein just Mm -hmm. not animal protein well, what a what a great and inspiring yet a downer of a story. I mean, uh, they were dinosaurs. We knew that they were going to die. Eventually. That's true. It was inspiring though too, but to see them break out of their the the norms. Absolutely. You know? And the parents, you know, they loved their daughter so much that mm-hmm. they were just like, you know what? We don't understand this. We can't say that we're ever going to understand it, but we love you and and we accept you. And then they're like, oh, look out. <laughs> And then they were like, oh, look out, because yeah. there's a meteor. Yeah. yeah, We love you, and we accept you. Yeah. So what's the name of your story? Um, um, so, Sue. Um, Sue? The. Oh, goodness. Something about vegan something dinosaur time. Sue the super vegan Saurus? T-Rex. Yeah. V- ter- Tyrannos- Veganosaurus Rex. Sue the Veganosaurus Rex? Yeah, that's the one. Sue the Veganosaurus Osaurus Rex. Okay. Your phone, for some reason, does not think that Veganosaurus is a word. Huh, that's weird. Huh. So, our stories today are Days of Past, Future, Past Days. <laughs> Um, Patsy's Ranch with Pizza and Sue the Veganosaurus Rex 
and I hope you enjoyed them. I do too. Yeah. I think that we should put up a poll on our Story Not Story Twitter so that people can go and vote for which story they like best from today. Because we had three pretty pretty solid, pretty solid pretty stories. Pretty solid stories. Yeah. I would be um, interested to see. Yes, we will. We will put up a poll. It's our our Twitter is Stories in Bed. Stories in Bed. Yeah, and um, a our website is Story Not Story Podcast dot com where you can you can find ways to stream the podcast in all places yeah and um and our patreon is patreon.com slash story not story if you would like to support what we do and, and if you want a different way to listen to these we also upload them on youtube not with video or anything it's just the audio but we finally have i'm just really proud that we finally have an actual youtube url mm-hmm. so it's, it's youtube.com slash story not yes, story i've never had a youtube url before i'm very excited about it hey it's a big deal it is a big deal okay it is a big deal. so what are we gonna do now well i was just gonna thank you for for being here thank you you yeah. told a great story you told a great inspiring I, happy. I, I tried i tried it's happy i was enthralled i really wanted to know what was yeah. gonna happen i'm glad you brought some lightness to our 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 dark we have here yeah. Yeah, story not story uh, anything else you'd like to say get drunk <laughs> <laughs> that's not for the podcast oh, that's oh, for oh. wheezy waiter I can't oh, actually oh. do that right now because I am carrying oh you're uh, in a family way I am in a family way yeah. I'm in a delicate condition yes you are yeah but you um, can eat pizza though I can definitely eat pizza mm-hmm. I would love to do that and mm-hmm. I'll watch you guys get drunk okay <laughs> great <laughs> okay we're gonna go get drunk so thank you for listening uh and that's all good night good night good night